I want to be able to utilize the or make things easier when it comes to the styling of the hair website that I'm building. So what I'm going to do in this video is to set up things so that or set up the CSS, the style sheet, where I have or am able to utilize variables for the colors. My name is Kenny. This is Tech Talk with RHT Services. And let's get started. Uh, to do this, going to create at the very top of the style sheet, going to create a uh, entry here that is titled root with the colon. And then for each of those, we'll do a, um, so we'll do a double dash and then we'll do brown or text brown. And then we'll, um, let's see, let me come back to, so I had looked up the syntax for this. All right, so we got the colors here. So actually, I just need to do brown. And then in the, uh, let's see, the brown item here. So I'm going to copy that. And then up here, I will do the hash with the uh, hex code. And then the other thing is peach. And I will come down here and copy this one. Now, in the event, let's say something changes in the future, I can easily change the colors up here in one location, and then they be referenced elsewhere in the style sheet. And thus, I don't have to go through each location in the style sheet to make the necessary adjustments. I forgot the number sign there on that. All right, so then now that I have that, I want to also, this is a light color, um, all right, so I'm gonna come back to that one. May not necessarily need that one. All right, so since I have this here, what I can do now is do background color and then do var double dash peach. All right, and then same thing here. Back, uh, excuse me, color var double dash peach. And I also need to put uh, the important after these respectively so that they do not have any issues being displayed. All right, so var, and then this one would be brown with the important. And we'll copy this and paste for quickness, and then var, open for the screen. Now you can do this with any other colors. There's also other ways that this can be done in your style sheet, but in this particular case, I'm only doing it for colors. Um, if you have other elements in here that you wanna do like this, you can do that, but you'll wanna check the style sheets, um, like a guide or something like that nature, uh, to make sure that you are following the conventions for doing so. Now I know what you're thinking, you're doing all the colors and typically I'm going to say yes. So we'll do white. And then FF, F, F, I think that's correct. Yep. All right. And then so what will happen is if I ever need to change a color um, at any point, I can just go up to the top of the style sheet, change the color, and it is applied throughout the entire site. All right. So then this is the nav link. Nav link is the, I believe, brown. 853. Yeah. So that's brown. All right. So then we'll do here var brown and take that var brown and then do that all right and so if you do all of this correctly you should not have any issues i think i missed one uh we're going to call this var um call it off white all right and then come up here off white that and there it is all right and so one more time we'll do the formatting so notice some stuff is a little bit out of whack here and then if we come back to the website uh where are we going there we go all right, so you wanna make sure that all your styles are still the same as they were before. And these look fairly correct. I think everything else is the way it should be. And so we're good to go in that regard. Now, if you come down here to the dev tools, you'll see in the styling that you have this brown and it knows what that is equal to. And then we come down to this root in the dev tools, you have a 
uh, this list here of dark, light, and so forth. And so green is being replaced by what I've provided in addition to white, which is also being replaced. And so that way, if you want to change everything that is white to like an off white, you can just change the color in there and then you'll be good to go. And you won't have to rename everywhere white is being used. That being said, that is how you create CSS variables in a style sheet, just up here at the top and you name them and then you use them down here like so. If you have any comments or questions about this, feel free to drop a comment down below. I thank you for watching this video. Please be sure to subscribe and follow and come back, come back often.